Welcome everyone to the New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On today's show, our crew is in Newfoundland, and our quarry is Salmo Salar, or it's commonly known as the Atlantic Salmon. Anglers from all over the globe come to these pristine waters for a chance at these acrobatic fish. We'll talk about equipment, technique, flies, and special regulations. It's going to be a great show, so stay with us. We'll be right back. I will catch these all day. That is what you're in for on this episode. On today's show, we've flown into Deer Lake, Newfoundland, where we were picked up by Cog Pelly, owner of Island Safaris, situated a short distance from the town of Springdale. This full service lodge offers comfortable accommodations, great food, and access to many of the prime Atlantic salmon rivers Northwest Newfoundland has to offer. Uh, generally, our, our best weeks are, you know, in, the, in July, the first week or so of July, then late June, uh, that last few days in June seems to be fairly hot, but uh, July, uh, once the fish get in the river and get settled down, it's uh, July, the first three weeks in July are probably our best times, but we have fish here right up till the middle of August, you know. Indian Brook is an absolutely beautiful place to fish, but after a half a day of angling, we realized the main run of salmon were late in coming in. So we got in our truck, drove a short distance to one of the many other excellent salmon rivers in the region. Our next stop was the famous Humber River. The Humber River is approximately 120 kilometers long. Rising in the Long Range Mountains, flowing southeast, then southwest through Deer Lake to the Bay of Islands at Cornerbrook. This river is one of Newfoundland's largest rivers with excellent runs of Atlantic salmon. I got him that time. Now what we have in front of us here is a bit of a channel. I'm only in a couple of feet of water, but it deepens out in front of me here. And the fish are channeled right down the middle. And it's a grills. They're not. They're, it's not real big. Oh, and the fish won that time. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Atlantic salmon fishing. You lots of casting, and but the rewards are great. Well, you kept my fly. So uh, that time the fish won. Too bad. <laughs> Try again. Try again. <laughs> That's a good sign. Oh yeah, it's fishing. That's a good sign. <laughs> The technique of swinging a fly properly is pretty much a do-nothing technique. Simply cast at a 45 degree angle across and downstream and allow the current to form a bow in the line that looks like the letter C. Allow the line to swing out through the current until it's straight below you, then pick the line up and repeat. Every couple of casts take a step downstream, repeating this until you've moved through the pool. Adding a Portland hitch to the fly will cause it to wake as it moves along the pool. This is desirable. Yeah. Man, he attacked that, didn't he? Oh, this one's I likes. Wowee. Yes, sir. Oh, that's Whoa, a little better fish, yeah. He's, he's a nice fish. He's going for a run. I say he's pretty close to 60 centimeters. Oh, good. Good. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> now the wind has forced me to do back casts out there. We got a pretty good downstream wind going right now and it's uh, really messing up my casting. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. And away he goes, yeah. And again, I'd go for another run. They're small, but they fight good. Yes, sir. Now this is an eight weight rod. Now look at the way it's got it bent. This fish is about six pounds. So they're extremely strong. Great fighters, very acrobatic.
All right. There we go. Very nicely done. As you can see, they got a nice pointed snout on them. They're, they're very, very quick in the water. They had a nice blue hinge to it there and, and kind of an X marks on them there. They're, uh, oh, they're very, very beautiful fish and extremely powerful. Yeah, face them upstream there. And anytime you think he's ready, it's oh, fine yeah. by us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And away he goes. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Persistence pays off. Constant casting, and like I say, it's not for the faint of heart. It took us a while to get here. <laughs> <laughs>there are times when you're going to encounter other fishermen in a popular area. It's been my experience that when there is a significant number of fishermen, the fish will congregate above the group of anglers and below the group. I've had very many successful days with other fishermen nearby simply by moving above or below them. <laughs> this was a, a long time coming. We rose this fish a few times and he's staying down. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, very acrobatic, these fish. He ain't gonna be ready for a minute. Oh yeah, have fun with them. Yes, sir. It's fresh fish coming in there all the time when you- Yeah, the fish are moving in and past us, but then we got fresh fish coming in constantly. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. No life like it. <laughs> that's true, that's true. But he's not bad. No. He's not quite ready, I don't think. Okay, I'm right into my leader now. And now what I'm gonna try to do is walk the dog over to Nelson. Very nicely, very nice. Can you see him, Nelson? Oh, and that's it. He's gone. <laughs> Doesn't matter, son. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the rods and reels you're going to need for Newfoundland and Atlantic salmon fishing are number eight weights. I bring a backup rod in case one breaks on you, but a number eight is what you need. Fairly fast action. If you use a slower action rod, you're going to have problems with the wind, which can pick up here. Now, this mystic nine foot number. Uh, eight weight rod is a good selection here of their saltwater series actually. Um, it is absolutely perfect for this situation. Lots of backbone to it, uh, great for fighting the fish. Now the reels we need, large arbor. These fish change direction on you in a second. So you must have a large arbor with a very smooth drag. If uh, a cheap reel, these fish will take apart a cheap reel on you in a second. So a large arbor reel is what you need with a good smooth drag. Floating lines only. You're not allowed to use any kind of weight, so floating line only is what you need. Nine foot leaders, and that's it. Very simple setup. Nelson, now, the strategy we're using today, what do you call it? The zoning strategy. Yeah, just the zoning strategy? Yeah. 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 So what, what does that mean in, in, in essence? Well, you start with a short line. With a short line. It, it work, so, it, you know, right close to you and, and swing yeah, it. Yeah, right, right close and just swing it and, and move out short line at a time. So uh, right two, you, right you're two telling two. me like a one or two yep. feet, you pull one off the feet. line. Yeah, like that. Cast again. Cast again. And do Let same. it swing. Let it swing. A couple yep. of times. Yeah. All could, right. And then you move a step or two. Then you do the same yeah. thing. Yeah, we do this until we reach across the pool. And then we decide we move downstream one or two steps. And what that does is we take apart the zone in front of us. And then as we move down, it swings in front and we can zone all the way down through the pool. Now this is only practical when you, you have room to do it. 
In some cases, when you have a lot of people around you, you can't and you have to live with what you have. But today we had the room and we worked the zone behind us. Nelson was right on every time he seen a fish. So we had good success today by using this zoning method. Yeah. And you strips it off and you covers every area, right? All the whole well, area, the whole, the whole pool. Whole and you move, work yourself right down. And then we'd move back, back up, up and yeah. rest the pool, pool for a pool. second. Right? And right, and fish back over it later. Yeah, and fish yeah. back over it later. And the I fish guarantee come back. the fish was there. Yes, it worked very, very well. Very good, yeah. 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 Go. Ah, I just had a fish rise twice to my fly. So I'm trying to put it back over top of him, but at a slightly different angle. And hopefully he'll take it. He missed it, and he got it that time. Look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. What'd I tell you? Got it that time. Changed my angle and it worked perfectly. And this guy is almost into my backing. You learn something new, Dave, about presenting the fly. Yeah. So that was, uh, actually we paid this fish to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the train one we got underwater. That's the, that's the train one, yeah. That's, that's the television fish. Oh, this guy, he's, he's about three, three turns from my backing. <laughs> now, hopefully he moves up, otherwise I'm gonna have to move down to him. No, bring him up. Bring him up? Yes. I don't wanna go back there, spot that pole. Okay. Three times, wow. See, you, you present different that time, huh? Oh, and that oh. time he, he, I think I might have lost our fly. Yeah. He you. bit me off that time. Oh, but wasn't that? There. <laughs> Fly's there. The fly's still there? Yeah, you pulled him out. Oh, you pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> it shows you that just changing your angle will make a difference. The fish missed it twice on the angle I was at, so Nelson says, well, move a couple of steps ahead and we'll just change the angle. And as you've seen on camera, he took it. Wow, we. Oh, <laughs> gotta love Atlantic salmon. <laughs>our setup for today is simple due to special regulations. We used a floating line to a nine foot leader tapered down to a 3x or nine pound tippet and then the fly. There's some specific regulations in regards to Atlantic salmon in Newfoundland. First one, you're not allowed to add any weight to the system. That means floating lines only, no weight on your leader or the fly. The second, you must crush the barb on the hook. They're very strict about their barbless hooks here. All this information can be complicated, but with your guide that you get when you apply for your license, all the information you need is in there, so study it. It's very important. I got him that time. Got him. Yes, sir. Good man. That fish rose once, <laughs> and Nelson said put it right back over him, and away he went. Yes, sir. We stopped to have a bit of bite to eat, gave the pool a rest, and we've got some fish moving back through again. This guy's running right at me, and I know he's gonna go crazy in a minute. Oh boy, this, this is the magic fly, Nelson. <laughs> it's the magic fly. I'm gonna walk the dog a bit. He's probably gonna go for another run. Get him over into shallower water where we can control him better. I, like I said, I knew he, I knew he was going to go for another run. <laughs> this is Atlantic salmon. They don't come in that easy. <laughs> Got him that time. Yes, sir. Now look at that. And there's that casa boom. We'll talk about this fly in a second. Barbless hooks. 
Now, you've seen the fight that I got out of that. That's not a very big fish. So you can see how spectacular these fish are. They're well worth coming to Newfoundland to, to fish for. This is, this is tremendous. You're very fresh in color, huh? Fresh, yeah, very fresh, silvery. Well, you know, I just, I can't say enough about these fish. They're, they're absolutely great. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very pretty fish as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah. Very pretty fish. We'll let them go, let's let them go. Well, that was, that was A1. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. A variety of flies were used during this trip, with the most effective being orange bombers, black bear green butt, green highlander, and the most effective, the blue charm. The Exploits was another river we traveled to. This river was experiencing some of the heaviest runs it had seen in years. The Exploit River provides habitat for spawning Atlantic salmon and other species of fish. The salmon population increased dramatically when fish ladders were installed, opening up sections of the river that had previously been inaccessible. A fish counter and viewing window is open to the public in Grand Falls, Windsor. Now I've been having a little trouble stripping my line in and just letting it hang in these rocks that I'm on. As you can see, it gets hung up in the rocks. I've been stepping on it, trying to cast, and, and it catches on a rock and just doesn't do what I want it to do. So what I've had to do is manage my line. When I strip it in, I'm folding it over and curling it up into little rolls in my left hand and holding it, like so. When I get enough in and I figure I'm gonna cast, I hold my line like this, I cast, and when I let go, I simply allow the line to curl off my hands. It's not a hard technique at all, but it's hand management with your line. Allowing it to go on the, on the, on the ground like it was, was catching up too much. Uh, yesterday I could get with her, uh, away with it because I was in the water, today I can't. The Exploits River can be treacherous in spots, so extreme caution should be practiced when visiting this river. Oh yeah, yeah, the old faithful, yeah. It's good fish too. Yes, sir. That one was completely unexpected. He wasn't in the spot I thought he was gonna be, but they can be anywhere. This one I can see down there now. <laughs> we had no light before, uh, but the sun's come out. It's getting kind of warm. I was surprised this fish hit, actually. Oh yes, very powerful fish. Got to depend on your drag a lot. I think it might be a little tight, so I'm gonna loosen it off a bit. I want them to be able to fight the reel and the current. Yes, sir. Now there was no doubt about this one. He come up and whoosh. Took it nicely. Oh yeah, you want to might want to get down there, yeah. Come there. There's no barb on that. I, no, it's not. No. There we go. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Gotta love it. All along here, again, nice bullet face on it. Built for speed, power and speed. So let's get him back in the water before he gets hurt. Oh, boy, that was good. Oh, uh, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was good. Well, I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna check my leader and make sure that there's no nicks. He fought pretty good, but that was a voracious hit, just up and down, gone. Oh, great. Thanks for the tip. You told you, this is the fellow here, a local. <laughs> here, I'll shake your hand. He told me I was fishing over the fish, so we had to fish closer, and there's a bit of a hole right here, and he was exactly right. So listen to the locals, too, when you come around. During our lunch break, I asked Nelson if he would like to show me how it's done. 
he gladly obliged. Excellent. Now, Nelson, he was on the swing when he grabbed it? Yes. He was on the swing? On the swing on sea. <laughs> now, what Nelson means by the sea is the, the, the shape of the, the letter C in the, in the line on the water. Oh, he's running on you. Uh -huh. He's a big fish. This is a good fish, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> real All nice, right. Real nice. Oh, this is wonderful, Nelson. Oh, wonderful. Yes, sir. Look at that. Good. We got him. He's shiny. Eh? He's shiny. Look where the oh, look where the hook is. Yeah. Just now, came Nelson, in. Nelson, I'll get you to pop that hook out. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, he's not that big, but it's it's a very nice Atlantic salmon. Nice color. Yes. Nice blue fins. Looks fresh. Oh, it's real fresh. Kind of silvery looking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice fish. Just six pounds. There we go. Yeah, it's about six, I would think. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't want to go away. <laughs> and I got a shower. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That was that was great. That was great. Oh, yes. Ah. Having a good day on the exploits, yeah. <laughs> well, I've had an excellent few days of Atlantic salmon fishing with Island Safaris. I want to thank my guide, Nelson Prouse, and Cog Pelly for a very enjoyable trip. If you want to learn more about this location or the patterns we use today, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us, tight lines, and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now we're putting up brand new videos all the time. So if you want to be notified when a new one goes up, click that bell icon and it'll come to you as soon as it's uploaded.